It's not every day that someone comes to the office and says they're going to have prenatal care here and then decide to deliver in Ethiopia. There's so many unknowns when someone's pregnant. Here in the United States, we know what our facilities are, we know what their capabilities are, but I don't know that they're capable of dealing with those same unknowns. And when do you think you're leaving? In like a week and a half. Well, you looked into the hospital and everything else? Yeah, I have, I have two hospitals in mind. Well, there's different levels of a nursery, so if you delivered early, you want to have a NICU where they have a higher level of care. God forbid you need to have a C-section. We have to find out. Yeah. We always worry about availability of medication in foreign countries, especially if someone needs a blood transfusion or something like that, because sometimes blood is not available. That's something you want to ask about. Complications don't happen often, thank goodness, but if something does happen, right. I have to come with you to Ethiopia to be sure that this is a safe decision. Talk about mortality, of mo you know. That's right. Maternal mortality if they don't have the right medication. Well, I mean, I know that, that one of the reasons they have higher maternal mortality rate is because a lot of women don't deliver in hospitals. That's right. It's very scary for me to imagine that Ari's at the point where something happened, her water broke, or she went into early labor, that she'd be stuck and they don't have the right care to save their life. That's what I really worry about. So up until what time can she safely fly if, I don't know how to say this, if we're not happy with the care? Around 32 weeks. So that gives you three to four weeks to find out more about these two hospitals that you're looking into. We're on a time crunch when we get there. We have to make sure it's all covered. And the most important thing is to meet the doctors. It's not surprising that my mom would come with me to Ethiopia to scope out the hospital. She's, you know, an emergency and trauma nurse. But if we go there and the facilities are not up to par, I know that she's going to try to bring me back to the U.S.